Good morning. Need to do a quick unpacking because I need to open this so that I can go into the garage and carry on doing what I need to do with this because I need it later. I just need my scissors to open this one. There we go. So this is from St John Street Cycles, Bridgewater. Yeah, I knew it. I was talking to somebody. Where was I? It was when I was in the Lake District. And I was talking to somebody at the um, one of the other helpers. And I was saying to him, I'm sure St John Street Cycles is in Bath or near Bath or Bristol or somewhere like that. Bridgewater. And he was going, no, 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 it's... Um, it's in Harrogate. Maybe there's two, but anyway, this is from the one in Bridgewater. Let's open this. And this is a pump head for my SKS track pump. And we'll go into the garage later and we're gonna fit that. So basically what's happened is I've had this a long time. The rubber's gone, not sure because I've tried searching for the model, I'm not sure which rubber to get because I can't find the exact type, it's just part numbers, I can't find a specification so I just bought a new pump head and rather than mine will supposedly do Presta and Schrader, which are the car valve and the bike valve type but on the same hole, so it's really awkward this one now is a multi-valve head, so you can see it's got two holes in there so we're going to fit that later, so I'll see you later. Hello everybody, welcome to my garage again, welcome to another vlog in my garage. And I thought we'd talk track pumps. So I've got two track pumps, I think I've had three. Let me just see if we can get the top of my head on, hang on. That's better isn't it, you can see the top of my head. So yeah, I've had three, I've had two of these z -fell cheapo plastic track pumps. This one I've had years and years and years and you can probably be able to see here if it'll focus the rubber across the top there, the hose, it's all cracking and this has got one of those multi-valve heads on so that at the minute is for Schrader, Presta, the narrow ones, Presta and then you slide that and that's for the car valve type or mountain valve, some of the mountain bikes. Schrader. I had one of these and I actually reversed over it back in my car out of the garage when I had a Land Rover. And um, uh, for those of you who know these sorts of things, it was a Defender 90, a 300 TDI. 1995 Embedge, brilliant thing. Anyway, ran over it, squashed the plastic. Is this one plastic or is this one aluminium? feels metal anyway it's a plastic one and it just popped it apart and um, put it back together I can't remember why I replaced it because it worked again for years but anyway that's that one and I've also got a much better um, SKS Airbase pump uh, so it's got sturdier feet the gauge is at the top, the pressure gauge is at the top and this has got a much nicer action but I had this one, the rubber's in better condition that's the valve head that we've recently bought the replacement for and we're going to swap that this type you push the lever down to lock it. The z felt one and most others, you put it on and then you pull it up, which is difficult to lock it on. It's an easier action to push it down to lock it. But anyway, this, this one I'd had set up for um, a disc wheel. So I'd had a rubber in there and um, I'd had it, had it set up for a disc wheel. 
So you pushed it on like that. So I never used to use this bit. So now I want to go back. Now I've sold my disc, disc wheel. I don't need that bit anymore. The sort of 90 degree adapter. And of course the rubber was damaged and I wasn't sure which size rubber to get in there to do the ceiling. So I just bought a brand new multi-valve head, more like the Z-Fall one where it's Fester and Schrader under there. So this is going to be dead easy to swap. All we do is undo that section. Take that off there. There's a little o-ring that'll pull off like so. Pull that off there. Put that on there to keep that on there. That's the old one. I need to tidy up in here. It's dreadful. So with this now, we'll under the new bit. There's an o-ring, it's more barbed this time, whereas last time it was just um, plain. Mustn't forget to put that bit on there first. Hang on. I probably need to come out a shot for this. Probably could do with trimming that a bit really. So I'm going to go out on the bike later, but there's rain forecast. I was going to do 100 miles today, but I decided not to. I don't need to. I'm, um, I need to do 66 miles today. So I'm going to go and do 66 later, even though the rain is forecast. So that's on there. The O-ring is already there. Push that onto the bob. <laughs> That down there, screw that on. Tighten that up. A bit more. That's it. And then there's a little hook on there that slots on the side of the unit. Next to there. So I'll be able to start using that again. <sighs> Needs a dust. What have I got for dusting? Paintbrush, that'll do. There we are. So now I'll move that because it was just in storage. Because I wasn't using it. And I will use it. Because the pressure gauge being at the top is easier to see than this one at the bottom so that's it for today see you in the next vlog